The Flash is a student forum for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions. Research, write, shoot, and broadcast. New stories they deem important to the Eastview community. Stay tuned for The, the Flash. Flash. Hey Eastview, I'm Olivia. And I'm Sydney. Today we have three great stories for you. Stay, Stay tuned for The Flash. For our first story, we're going to take a look at how this year's Bravo production is a little bit different than last. Ian has the story. For most of our students, this is kind of the first big kind of musical production. In a Spring Bravo, a lot of our students will have been in the musical, and that actually prepares them for Bravo. Bravo in the spring, you know, everything just kind of feels more refined. We've had four shows before this under our belts. And, and that shows. Because Winter Bravo occurs in the middle of the year, some students find themselves having mixed emotions. I do wish it was switched around because I feel like I perform better in Bravos than I do in musicals. You know, of course it's my senior year and I do wish I could kind of have that closure experience with Bravo and really tie it together. So it does kind of make me sad that I can't do it. Sad and unfortunate. But Bravo, like any other show, opens up new paths and experiences for new faces. There's definitely an extra bunch of people that join because it's in the winter rather than being in the spring. Yeah. I think it's worth keeping the tradition of Winter Bravo every four years um, because I know there's a lot of people like me who have an activity in the spring and weren't able to like fully participate. Bravo is a high energy show and uh, so it's exciting to watch, it's exciting to listen to. Our jazz band is awesome, our dancers are amazing, our singers are so talented and uh, I would strongly encourage everybody to come. Signing off for The Flash. This is Ian. Bravo will be showing throughout the next two weekends and it's selling out fast. Make sure to get your tickets for our next story, we're going to take a look at how one Eastview student gets to school a little bit differently than the rest, and how those plans might need to change due to the upcoming weather. Tyler, how's the story? It's about that time of year when driving becomes more and more difficult. Some students, however, like Javen Bowman, opt for a more hydraulic form of transport. Uh, I got my motorcycle about uh, two years ago. I was like, okay, mom, can I, can we go, can I go get this bike? And she's like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Well, I had to see, and I was like, Mom, I, I need it. I need it so bad. She's like, fine, I'll trust you'll make the right decision. And uh, I think I did. Kind of exciting, the guy was a little bit crazy, and uh, it, the bike didn't have a title, and it wasn't legal, and it was super sketchy, but it was super funny. Even sketchier are these icy roads. So what is a motorcyclist to do during this time? I am lucky enough to have a, uh, a dual sport so I can go on-road and off-road. I got knobby tires on it. Uh, so in the winter, um, even if the roads aren't perfect, I can go out and uh, I can find like a cornfield or something and go tear it up a little bit, ride through the snow. Make sure to stay safe on these icy roads, Eastview. Reporting for The Flash, this is Tyler. I can't imagine riding a motorcycle around this time of the year. You know what else we do this time of year? What? We give back. Let's take a look into ECU's new gift card drive and the impacts it's leaving on students through the holiday season. Kyle has the story. Holidays at Eastview. To most people, it is shopping or a fancy vacation. To others, it is rebuilding the community through random acts of kindness. So, yeah, we've got, what, $1,767 so far. The gift card drive. Sometimes families could use a gas card to fill up the, the tank of gas or some weekend groceries. Winter break is 12 days long. That's a pretty significant impact on a grocery bill for a family. So to be able to provide them with a $50 Cub gift card um, is really pretty impactful. It certainly means a lot to them. It does. Yeah, it does. I grew up without a lot of money that my Mom was a single mom, and I told my classes that, yeah, she used to bounce checks to get us groceries. And now I'm here and happy to help others. This is going to help students that you don't even know, or maybe honestly someone who's sitting right next to you right now. 
um, that doesn't have the courage to ask for help. 2014, Mr. Moppin agreed to shave his mustache if the school raised, I believe it was the $20,000 goal. So yes, that was our year of the ramen noodle war, <laughs> where one class brought in 1,054 packages of ramen noodles at the last minute. A random act of kindness. It's something that families, students and families don't necessarily expect from their school. And so it's one of the things I think that makes Eastview, the Eastview community really unique and special. Your $10 gift card might just make a family's winter a little more cozier. Kyle Huang, The Flash. Make sure if you have any gift cards to hand them in by the end of the day because it is the last day to hand them in. Hey Sid, is it time to go yet? I really hope it is because I really gotta get home and get caught up on the office. Well, maybe you can right now. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for the, the credits. credits. Hey, Forney. This is Ekra. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's not available right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll give him a message when he gets up, uh, gets back. Michael had donuts for lunch today. Let me rephrase that. Michael had a lot of donuts for lunch today. And let me be more specific. Michael had two family-sized boxes of donuts for lunch today and promptly fell asleep. So we're trying not to wake him before the end of the hour, which should be in about... Five minutes. I'm gonna change the clock on his computer. Are you sure you can change his watch? Yeah, I can do it. What do you need me to do? Normally I don't condone leaving early, but I have an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's just a regular doctor that shoots your horse in the head after its leg gets broken. Geography joke, I like it. Oh, geez, we're out of time. All right, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, bye, bye, Michael. Bye, <laughs> 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 <laughs>